So, I mean, you can, you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it. You know, if you, if you want to be a man. And yeah. And it's not only that, it's also like the living standard of today. Like many people, like you don't need two cars. Exactly. Exactly. You don't need, there's so many things you don't need. Like, exactly. I I ride my bike to the Metro and, you know, mostly, you know, and so, so there's ways that you can cut, cut down as well, you know, and that's also part of leadership. Being a leader and being a man is, is uh, showing your family by example, how to, um, how to live and putting your foot down when it comes to uh, excess. And it very much helps that my wife is very good at, um, at saving money as well, you know? Um, so we're, we, we have, we're a good team, you know? I'm the last good. Uh, so she's uh, looking at, she's looking at me right now. So I had to, yeah, so like, oh, I got to say something good. <laughs> I got to say something good. Uh, okay. So, work out. Uh, hey, work out. Do br- okay. Listen, I got a beef uh, with you guys, man. You guys talk about curls, man. Hold on. That's, all right. All right. Absurd, man. Look, 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 before, before your stats, here's my stats. All right. Let's all just right, be right. clear. All right. all right. My stance is, uh, what you want to call it? Curls can be you sometimes. Okay. Forget curls. In general, all right. In general, certain movements, uh, certain muscles can be isolated in order to strengthen them to aid in primary lifts. So, for example, if your hamstrings are weaker than normal, strengthening your hamstrings and getting bigger hamstrings through hamstring curls will aid in the deadlift. Okay. So, it's my it's the same thing with curls because sometimes, and even with shoulders, for example, if you use hypertrophy to build your shoulder muscles first, right, or or not first, just to aid then they, they can help in supporting your, your, your joints when you actually perform the movement. So that's my stance. Okay. So I'm saying use the isolation to, uh, for additional hypertrophy to add stability. That's it. All right. Now. Like, don't ditch the compounds. Don't ditch the compounds. Okay, I'm not right. against that. All right. So here's my position, right? My position is, and by the way, I've been working out since, like, consistently since 2003. And before that, I was working out uh, a lot yeah, too. Yeah, you have skin in the game. I agreed. Right. So I, I have a lot of trial and error, a lot of trial and a lot of error, by the way, and until I finally, um, uh, until I, until I finally hit upon my, 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 my philosophy. So my philosophy is this. All right. First of all, you met, uh, it's, it's, it's functionality and strength. Know what your goals are. If your, goals are, uh, if your goal is to have big biceps, Okay. Yeah. Oh, have big biceps and do curls. That's your goal. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can skip arms. I, I actually don't like doing curls. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, that, that's good. If you don't like doing curls, don't ever do them again in your life. You'll be fine. No, no. Cause it's like my, my arms are like, my uncle makes fun of me. My arms are like naturally bigger. Like they grow very fast. So like my uncle's like, Oh, you got big arms and small chest. So like I kind of, so, okay. So, so, so here's the thing. So, uh, you never in very rarely in your life, are you going to find yourself doing this motion? Correct. I mean, right. like, when do you ever be like, man, I'm really good that I did. I'm really glad that I did thousands of curls because now I'm like, I'm. All right. All right. I'll agree with you. Yes. I mean, yeah, yo, lift, yeah. Lifting stuff in awkward positions, you need a lot of bicep strength. Okay. But look, so wait, when wait. you're pulling, when you're pulling, right, you're pulling or you're shoveling. You're yeah. yo, let's, yo, let's be real. You don't need strength in that, in like your everyday life ever. No, no. no. My friend was a construction worker and he, and he was shoveling and he said my biceps were super sore for like a week. That's when right. First, first of he, all. Don't ever say that you don't have, you're not going to need strength in real life because you never know when you're going to have to, you know, lift the damn refrigerator off your, you know, wife because it fell over on her or when you're going to have to, when you're going to have to like, you know, fight some dude or, or, or whatever. You just never know what, what, what's going to jump up or help him help a neighbor move. You know what I'm saying? Sure, your neighbor's yeah. like, hey, can you help me move? And you're like, well, I can't lift a piece of string. So, you know, <laughs> ah, you know. Or you're, you're, you get married. I don't, married about, I said I don't need strength. <laughs> yeah. Or you get married and your the custom in your wife's culture is that you have to carry her across the, you know, the village or something. You know what I mean? Like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. so look, all right, like I'll build a tractor. And- <laughs> so, so, so strength and functionality. Okay. okay. There, there's, there's, there's a couple uh, and athleticism. There's, there's a reason for, for that because that's how the, my point is uh, work out in the way that the body is intended to move. Okay. Don't, don't, um, don't isolate and, uh, movements that the body was not intended to move. The body was intended to move as a system and, um, as in, uh, in a system of motions. Okay. So the things that are, that uh, mimic that are squats, deadlifts, um, you know, and, uh, um, presses, yeah, yeah uh, sprints, uh, stuff like that. Right. So, so let's just talk Whoa. about, yeah, let's talk about strength. Okay. First of all, my my um, this 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 is my my workout consists of only these moves. Okay. Yeah. 
First of all, well, I, I have to say that I, this is kind of a, a thing. I, I've left the power lifting thing and I do only Olympic moves. Okay. So Olympic lifting is, you know, the snatch, the clean and press. Yeah. The clean and press, the clean and press or clean and jerk really. And the, um, and the snatch. Okay. So, but the motions that are required to that, those are compound moves. They, they, they involve several things. So squats and deadlifts and overhead press. Okay. That's, that's all I do. All I do is, uh, and pull-ups. Those are the only things I do with some uh, dips thrown in um, and uh, burpees and, you know, sprints or something like that. And also like medicine ball slams. So the only thing I'm doing is I'm doing, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing squats, uh, but I, I do Olympic squats. So I'm doing, um, uh, you know, the, the, the bar high, high bar. yeah, high bar with the, the um, uh, with my torso relatively uh, vertical and I ha uh, and a lot of flexion of the um, the ankle forward, the knee going over the uh, over the toe, which is not the um, powerlifting way, because um, powerlifting your the knee is not going over the toe. So if watch videos of of Olympic lifters, okay, and and see how they're doing it. Now that that um, that, Oli that Olympic move, first of all, is safer on on the back than on, than the powerlifting thing, but also powerlifting. Uh, is not very functional. It's not as functional as um, Olympic lifts. Another thing about Olympic lifts is with the, the jerk and so on the, uh, and the clean, those are explosive motions. So explosiveness and speed um, de developed at the same time as strength um, is, is the epitome of function. And that's why that move is done by football players and, and MMA uh, fighters as yeah, um, right. Yeah, that's why the, these guys, these guys are training in the way that, um, uh, that uh, that helps them in what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. Another thing is this is interesting is that uh, Olympic lifters never do uh, bench presses. Why do they never do? Or rarely? Why do they never do them? Because in Olympic lifting, you're never pushing forward. There's just no reason to push forward. And another yeah. thing, another thing is in real life, you rarely like when when do you ever find yourself like you know opening a door or, you know really heavy or something like you, you you don't do that very much. But you do find yourself lifting crap over your head. So like you know I'm your mo I, I moved all my furniture like I'm, you know, lifting everything over my head. So military presses to me are much more important than um, bench presses. Why? Because the bench press is less, yeah, it's less functional. Another thing is you say, oh, well, I'm going to get, I'm going to have a small chest. Look at, um, look at uh, Olympic lifters and see their the chest. Believe it or not, the, the, because the pecs are actually part of the shoulder, considered part of the shoulder, yeah. you'll see them um, just by, uh, just like uh, uh, biologically. No, just to cut you off. Uh, I didn't say you have a small chest. I said I have a small chest. No, no, no. I know. I know. I know. But I'm just saying is that the other thing is that also don't worry about the small chest thing. Yeah. yeah. No, you that's just the aesthetics. Like, don't worry about it. It's aesthetic. I'm going to agree with you and like add on. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead. Well, and my last no, thing, I'm say, my last thing I'm going to say is that unless, unless someone has like some like pathologically mm. uh, underdeveloped, you know, I don't know, like calf, as you mentioned, because they, um, you know, I don't know, their leg was, you know, their leg was incapacitated for a year or something like that. And they need to get it back. That's what, that's one thing that, but, but, the, um, so for example, pull-ups, pull-ups, when you're doing pull-ups or bent over rows, which I also like, I just don't have as much time to do them because I'm doing other stuff. But when you're doing those, your, your, your bicep is being used in, uh, in that motion. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so if you, if you try to go and like over, over exert and overwork the bicep, um, what you're doing is, first of all, in that motion, you're putting unnecessary stress on the elbow in doing something that you could put that same amount of stress, but in a more effective way because you're doing pull-ups. So when you're doing pull-ups, you are st putting stress on the elbow in the same way as you're doing this, but you're getting more bang for your buck and you're not overstressing your elbow. If you're over here doing curls, then you're doing pull-ups. Now you've stressed the elbow unnecessarily um, you know, for something that in that same exact time you wasted your time and that same stress on your elbow you could have been working other parts of the body like the um and in a in a way that is more um uh, uh, aligned with the system that the, uh, uh, the way the body. Body, the body works so in other words i see absolutely no benefit whatsoever in any isolation exercises unless you've got um uh, unless you've had some kind of uh, injury where that leg was out and you need to rehab it or something like that that's just that's yeah. neat Okay. So, okay. So here's what I'll tell you what I agree with. Okay. Right? So when you said about the functional part, I do agree. Like, uh, like a lot of Olympic lifters, or if you look at CrossFitters, right, they got what big, big backs, right. big ups, shoulders, big shoulders, right. Big shoulders. Right. And then their chests are not that developed. Believe it or not, back in the day, 
bodybuilders that would actually laugh at us for developing our chest so much. It's, it's, it's the functionality is here, right? So that that I agree with. Like you just said, bodybuilders. What do you mean, bodybuilders? Like not body, like back then, weightlifters. Like if you look at Eugene Sando, like he's one of the, like back in like the at the, at the end of the 1800s. Yeah. Right. Uh, the bodybuilding, by the way, I, I despise bodybuilding. Okay. Yeah. Just, when I say bodybuilding, I mean like building muscle. All right. Like building, building yeah. muscle. Yeah. yeah. All right. Building muscle. Like let's yeah. use building muscle, not bodybuilding. I'm not talking about like Mr. Olympia bodybuilding. Weight training, weight training, strength training. Weight training. Sure. Yeah. We can, yeah, we'll call it that. Uh, because like, yeah. So even back then their chests were not as developed. They focused right. on shoulders, uh, back, glutes. Yeah. Uh, right. So I, I will agree with that. Like in terms of, uh, functionality now, now here's the thing i agree that like you should train like in in regards to real world application like yeah. not just not just building muscle but right. i'm saying my, my i guess the difference is you would say isolation is totally like unnecessary unless you yeah. got an injury i would yeah. say sometimes it can be beneficial to use hypertrophy to add muscle to a joint to uh, offer more stability when you when you perform a lift so but like it, like, mm-hmm. like for mm-hmm. hamstrings for example under right? what under what scenario would you not build that muscle just by doing, for example, you mentioned the hamstring, do squats. For example, so, no, but for example, like some people in the beginning, or this, this, this I'll is, give, I'll give you a really good example. Yeah, when you do oh, squats, right? Uh, when I do squats, I tend to develop a very, very thick uh, gluteus maximus muscle. Paul's oh, butt is huge. He's like improportionate. What's wrong with that? And, uh, <laughs> That's one of the strongest muscles in the body. By the you way, know, you but there's so much mass that like, uh, like I can't carry that around, man. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're being, you realize that this is so much of these conversations always go back to um, aesthetics. It's like, I look yeah. next to my, my arm. I, I'm looking at, it's, it's like, it's like, uh, I mean, beyond a, beyond a, if, as 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 you, looking it in is, the, in the mirror and saying, Oh, I, you know, body, what do you call it? Body dysmorphia or something like that. that don't, don't worry about that stuff, man. As long as you're able to deadlift 300 pounds, okay? Anything beyond that really doesn't, it, it doesn't matter too much, right? So as long as you're able to deadlift 300 pounds or 315 I think, pounds. Then, I think deadlift, yeah, deadlift, being able to deadlift 300 pounds is a very good goal to have, but, but um, to it's me. It's not that much, but, yeah, but to, to me, it's a basic. To me, try, I think also I would, I would, I would add, um olympic moves to that if i was you and yeah no i agree yeah do, i can do, i can jerk do, about 150 okay yeah but see the question there is is it the right um you mean clean right no clean um, and jerk yeah clean yeah so the question there is the is the form because the form is very 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 critical and if, if any kind of like error in the form is like uh can be dangerous or just not beneficial so uh, I'm not saying you're not doing it right. I'm just saying it's very difficult to get it. Uh, once you get it, you get it. But it's, it's so I would highly recommend working with like a coach or something like that um, to get that right. You know, but but yeah, clean clean is are very very uh, very important. You know, because you're doing developing that explosiveness. But if you're not doing that, then just keep doing squats, keep doing deadlifts, and um, yeah, well, I don't know. I don't see any reason not to keep going. If you say you make the 300, keep 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 going as long as you can until you, know, you can. Get has got very good. I think genetically he has good legs because he'll. He won't. He'll squat once a month, and his squat will still go up. And he squats like three fifteen. That's good. I squat three thirty five. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's good. My maximum deadlift was four twenty five. Mashallah, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's the most I ever did. I, I can't do that now, but that, that's the most I ever did. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess okay, we disagree on isolation movements. That's basically because yeah. my my contention is it can be used to build uh like build muscle to aid in the compound movements or like another example, like for overhead pressing. Okay. Yeah. If you're like an absolute beginner, yeah. I feel like for some people, depending on how their shoulder joint inserts, because overhead pressing is not the same for the, with the bar for everyone. Cause like for me, I prefer the dumbbells and I don't like the flat bench just for my joints. I, I got longer arms. It just wasn't that beneficial to me, yeah. but like using dumbbells to build the muscle first and then doing the over- compound. I feel like that can help just to aid. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, can I add something? Yeah. Yeah. So like when I squat, um, I tend to use, I said, I use a lot of glute, but my lower, my lower quads, they don't grow as much. Right. And then, um, like when I'm running or when I'm walking, I feel, or when I'm twisting my, my leg, yeah. um, I feel like my knee joint is unstable. So that's yeah. why I feel like I want to like, that's like, a, do like, like extensions. Like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, leg extensions are very bad for the knee, as you may know. Yeah, leg extensions. I've read about that. Why, bro? I, is, I but they should be done. Man, they should bro. be done at like fifteen plus reps for like safety. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Do squats. Sure. Do squats. 
Just do squats, man. Squats, squats is the squats is the uh, are the you know the can't go the wrong with move, them. The most natural move that you can possibly do mm -hmm. um, for 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 anything. Squat. Uh, if you're not squatting, you're not you know you're you're wasting your time. You're hurting yourself. You know. Go squats. And, okay. Wait. What what you about lunges? Yo, for the past week, I've been doing kettlebell stuff, though. Just want to put that out there. No, what about lunges? Yeah, kettlebells are cool, man. Kettlebells are cool. Lunges are cool, too, but, you know, um, yeah, I mean, lunges are cool, but they're, they're, a, they're an, ex, uh, what do you call it, an accessory type thing, auxiliary type of exercise. No, because the, the motion is still, uh, it's basically like an isolated squat. You use, and if anything, it's better because you use your hips as well. So I, I have a, my dad um, downloaded for me and, and sent to me in prison. He downloaded the, um, the weight lift, uh, weightlifter, uh, USA weightlifting um their manual you know the olympics uh manual for coaches okay so they're so so they're training for athletes from the very beginning from the, not from people coming off the street like looking like noodles you know mm. their um their training regimen does not involve in any way any kind of isolation exercise i mean they'll met they say well you can do that if you want but, you know if you don't want to do it then don't then don't worry about it you know their main thing is those major compound moves you know their main thing is that they, they train with deadlifts they train of course olympic deadlifts and olympic um olympic squats so olympic deadlifts are slightly different uh than mm. powerlifting deadlifts but they they train with it they train with overhead press they train with um, yeah it's like strong lifts five x five like right like, yeah, yeah right well i started with that as well in the beginning uh, yeah that's a good thing but so they so what i'm saying is that they is that they don't they don't um do any they don't do any benches so what I'm yeah. saying is, if you uh, if if you if you think about the fact that a great like millions and millions of dollars are poured into winning gold medals at the mm -hmm. Olympics, you know, by by um, and and this is the training ma manual that they have developed to achieve the most efficient uh, athlete in Oli winning Olympic gold medals and in, in, in Olympic weightlifting, and it doesn't involve any isolation exercises. Mm -hmm. Then you then you have to say to yourself maybe. You know, maybe I they're onto something. Yeah. Maybe they're onto something. Exactly. They're, and it's money. This, this is the economics of it. You know what I'm saying? There, mm. there, um, the, uh, the, the, um, there's so much money at stake here, and this is the this is the result. Uh, this is the training manual that's developed. So I, I think that there's something to that. And again, I, I do agree with you on the isolation thing, but only really if it's some sort of like rehab. If it's an injury, or not like or like or like here's an example, right? Like I, so when I squat, right? Squats don't target my glutes very well for me. Yeah. My yeah. quads grow, but my glutes don't grow. So I have to hit like glute bridges and stuff. So let me ask you this question. Two things. One, how do you know that, um, uh, how do you know that it's not your form? So in other words, in, in, in other words, checked by multiple people, but maybe it's yeah. my form. Okay. Okay. Uh, another thing is, the other thing is that sometimes grow something, uh, some body part growing is not necessarily related to strength. You know, I mean, uh, this, the size of the muscle and the strength of the muscle are not necessarily, um, not always, but generally there's like, it's like a linear trend. Generally bigger, like a bigger chest means a bigger bench. Usually. So if you're, well, yeah. But so if your goal, if the person's goal is the way you look, is to look a certain way. So my, my goal is not to look a certain way. Like okay. for squats, to, it was just to it's right. develop like, like I, okay. So let me give you like some background. I could, I could jump and like touch the rim before I started yeah. squatting. Right? Yeah. I think naturally I just had a good upper. I think, I think my explosiveness is from a uh, upper right. body base. Right. When I started squatting, it didn't really make a difference in, uh, I don't know if it, actually, I don't know if it made a difference or not in how explosive I was. You know, know. there's a, there's a certain, um, that's what you need um, uh, cleans for because cleans, there, there's something about, so, so that, I don't know if you guys know, but the clean, yeah. when you're, so when yeah. you're in this position, what's called the power position, you don't yeah. go all the way down, you know, you're about like right there. And that's where the most power that the human body is able to generate is when, when the knees are slightly bent, not all the way down to the ground, not squatting. That's why when you're jumping for the uh, rim or something like that, or, or, or a volleyball player who's spiking, you, yeah. your, your power comes not from squatting all the way to the ground, but from that power position, which is like the knees slightly bent and then boom. So that's, um, you know, that's where that power comes from. And um, that's, that's where, uh, that's what cleans, Focus right. on it. biometrics. Yeah. What's, that, your, what's your What's your max clean? I, I don't. Oh, uh, I, I. You know what? I've, I'm working on form so much that I, I've I've cleaned uh, about. I don't know. Maybe like 175 or something. But but I wasn't doing it with right form. I went I went way back to the beginning to like you know 135s. And I just I can add I can do more than 135 pretty easy. But I mainly focus on form with, with cleaning now. Yeah.
I really do. But I, I love it. Uh, now, it's squatting and deadlifting, I'll add a lot more, a lot more. But yeah. yeah. My max was around 195, 195 185. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so I don't want to bore people with just talking about the uh, steps. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, there's one important question. No, yeah, they're not. Two, two important questions. The last two. Maybe, two we can edit, maybe we can edit some of this stuff out. 